The large cylindrical leaves of bananas, heliconias, and calathea plants provide shelter for a variety of animals, mostly insects, like this Katie did. A thermal imaging camera reveals a mammal inside the leaf, and that is a bat called the Spix dist wing bat that has evolved sucker feet, allowing it to stick to the sides of the leaf. Let's send in Vino to catch one. Unfortunately for the bat, there's no escape hatch. Up to nine bats fit in a single leaf, but the average roost has six bats. Now most bats hang down, but these face upwards. It was, it was exactly like right that. You asked, I got you one. This really small bat lives from southern Mexico through Central America and all the way to southeastern Brazil. In Costa Rica, it lives in wet forests, mostly in the lowlands. Tiny eyes, three colors, that's why it's called Tiroptera tricolor. And look at those such cups. They have to find a new leaf every night since the leaves unfurl so quickly. And off it goes to spend the night catching small insects on the wing. The family of distwing bats has a single genus with only five species. There is an old world family of bats that has less developed suction pads. And that's the Suckerfoot two-step. They hold quite well, even on glass. Notice how this one wets the suction cup with its saliva for a better adhesion. There can be up to 22 distwing bats per hectare in wet lowland forests. What an amazing adaptation. Bats have many predators, and this Oropel eyelash viper is known to hang out on calatheas waiting for hummingbirds. But a nice bat hors d'oeuvre would be good too. Fortunately, bats are very aware of animals getting close to their roost, and these had time to escape. While they are nocturnal animals, echolocation works just as well in the day. Oh my god! A baby was left behind. Soon after dusk, the rescue team arrives. Mom lands nearby and loads up her baby takes off into the moonset. <laughs>